Now let's take a look at some of the parts on a micrometer. Uh, here I have a real micrometer and then I have a diagram of a micrometer. You'll notice the C-clamp style part of the micrometer is called a frame. Usually you hold it by the frame in one hand and use your other hand to manipulate the thimble, the part that turns. This part out on here on the end is called a ratchet knob and the thimble screws in and out on the sleeve or the barrel and that moves the spindle part either wider or narrower and by reading these numbers on the micrometer we know the precise distance between the anvil and the spindle. This particular micrometer will measure between 0 and 25 millimeters. There's an English counterpart to this, the 0 to 1 inch micrometer that uh, is traditionally used in engineering applications and machining applications here in the United States. Okay, so let's talk about how we measure using a micrometer. First of all, this is a very precision piece uh, of equipment and we want to be careful not to uh, turn it down too tightly. If it's properly calibrated, as soon as the uh, spindle and the anvil come together to close where there's zero gap in between, then the micrometer should be at a zero reading. Let me zoom in here. Okay, and there we can see that I've closed this, I'm spinning it down, closing it, so that as soon as that gap disappears, our micrometer should read zero, and it does, right there. Now, the thimble has to turn twice for one millimeter of distance to be measured. So if I turn this counterclockwise, you'll notice the numbers are going up, going up. There's 30, 35, 40. We're approaching 50, where the thimble goes back to zero. Okay, that's 0 0.50 of a millimeter. And you'll notice that this little mark shows up down here, not on the main line, but down below. If I turn it one more time, now we're reading, since we've already turned it a half of a millimeter, when this marks 0 0.50 millimeters, then this would be 55, and this would be 60, and 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 0 0.95 of a millimeter, and finally exactly on one millimeter. And so each millimeter marked out on the line has a half mark so that you can tell whether or not you're adding uh, 0.50 to the, the thimble reading or whether uh, you haven't reached that uh, halfway point yet and you read the number directly off the thimble. So again, here we go, let's crank that back down. This would be 0, 0.00 millimeters. 0 0.05 millimeters. And if we want, we can estimate where we are in between the lines. So let's say if, if it were right here, maybe we would estimate that as an additional 5. So this might be 0 .055 because it's in between the 5 and the 6 marking. That's how we get all the way out to a micrometer in using these. Okay, so now let's talk about how do we measure a real object. So let me open this up. I have a cylinder here that I wish to measure the diameter. Notice that I'm holding the frame uh, supported by my small finger and I have my thumb and index finger that's able to turn uh, and then with my left hand I'm able to hold the part that I'm trying to measure the cylinder so I'm opening this up and now it's very important to have uniform tension uh, so we could really crank down on this thing and uh, ruin the micrometer by making it uh, it's go out of calibration. What we want to do when we tighten down on the diameter is we want to be out here on the end and that way we can't put too much pressure on the object. Okay, so it turned and so now I know I'm tight enough right here. Now we need to zoom in. Okay, in looking at the barrel here there is the one millimeter marking, there's the five millimeter marking, we're at 10 millimeters, so we're certain that this is at least 10 millimeters in uh, diameter. And now we go 11, 12, and not only are we 12, but we're 12.50 plus whatever additional amount we have on the thimble. And so this would be 12.5 plus 20 
3, and it's past the 23 marking. It's in between the 23 and the 24, right here on the thimble. So I'm going to estimate that at 12.738. Let me write that down. I was certain that it was 12 millimeters and we are certain that it is past the 50 point. That's what this little line down here tells us. And then we have to add whatever's on the dial plus 0 0.23 and I estimated that it was about 8 tenths of the way between the 3 and the 4. So when we add this together we get 12.738 millimeters and so our total measurement is 12 millimeters we're certain about that and we're certain out to the hundredth of a millimeter place and then we estimated out uh, 8 tenths of the way between 3 and 4 uh, taking us all the way out to 10 to the minus 6th meters or 1 millionth of a meter a micrometer.